Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Mason here, and I'm on Plan B Designs, and I'm happy that I am, because this channel kicks ass. Anyways, uh, I'm going to show you how to do the thing that you just saw in the preview thing before the tutorial. So, let's get started. A few things first, uh, with the new recording space, it cuts off the bottom of Vegas because I am recording so I can, you know, have 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And of course, I never record my uh, start bar on Windows because you guys could see, you know, probably all the porn sites that I'm looking at while I'm doing these tutorials. Because I need something to do. I can't just do this all day. You know, just saying. Anyways, so um, what I did right there is, here, I'll do it again for you guys because you guys are special like that. Is I took the clip, pressed Control, and I dragged it down to a new track, and that'll duplicate the clip. Just you can just delete this bottom audio track, and then move this up to the top, so you have two video tracks right over each other. Just to you know, know what we're doing, I'm going to apply an effect to the top clip because we are going to stack. We're going to stack these clips. So um, here I'll show you what I mean in a second. I'll go to Color Corrector. Ooh, ultimate S. That's pretty sexy. Um, how about I do Welcome to Oz? That's a nice No, that doesn't even make any difference. Indoor white balance. Uh eh, how about cool my own color corrector? It's good enough. Okay, um but basically what stacking is is um a way to apply an effect to only one part of the video. It's so like with this effect, we are only going to add it to uh, the little scan bar that goes across. And we're going to make that with a cookie cutter. And uh, here, just thing, let me show you how. Go into cookie cutter and reset to none and drag it out onto there. And here are the settings you need. Change the shape to square. Repeat X. Um, no, never mind. Excuse me. Repeat Y up to 10 and then bring the size down. And you can see exactly what we're going for. See, okay, but here's one thing about it. If you go below 0.1, wait a sec. Yeah, if you like go really low, it'll start to make these little boxes. So you don't want that. You want it to be a one continuous bar. And uh, here you have the controls. You can drag it from left to right. I'll make this a little bit larger. I'll make it 0 0.05. And uh, you can choose to feather it or not. I prefer feathered. Feather or unfeathered really depends on the effect. And for this effect, I'm going to do unfeathered. Why wouldn't I just. Why don't I just make a better color corrector and put it on here right now? I'll make some really, really bad one. Ooh, processed old. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Anyways, so. What we're going to do is we're going to keyframe this, start it out on the left side, and then we'll go forward uh, one second. Yeah, let's do one second. And then we'll move it over to this side. And then we'll go over to right here, and we'll move it back over to this side. So if I preview this, Shift B. Okay, that's done. It's not a bad effect right there. Yeah. And then once it's done, of course, at like two seconds or whatever time, like two seconds, you can just cut it off. And there we go. Yeah. So um, now I'm going to move over into After Effects and show you how to do it in there. There we go. Sexy PVR clip. And let's get this started. We aren't going to stack with this. We're going to use an adjustment layer which is something that's only available in After Effects and can't use it in Vegas which sucks because it would really be awesome to use it in Vegas so basically what we're going to do is we're going to go to layer create new adjustment layer and then now what adjustment layer does is it uh, adds effects to everything that is below it so let's say we want to color correct this I'll go curves Drag it onto there. Give it some contrast. 
Then we'll go into red. We'll just take away some of the reds. Go into the blues. Beast up the blues. And take the greens and we'll put up those a little bit. So we got kind of an aqua color correction. Not very good, but heck, it's a tutorial. Uh, you know. Anyway, so we're going to go to the adjustment layer. And we're going to adjust the width of it. So go to the edge right here. Click it and drag it in. See, and then you can already see what we're going for. The bar, the scanning bar right here. So we're going to go to the adjustment layer and hit P for position. Um, adjust the X axis until it is off the side. So it is completely non-visible. So we're going to set a keyframe. Go forward to one second. that one second no nope. one more frame there we go one second that last frame is important then you just slide it across to the other side and then of course go to the next second and slide it back over so let me preview this for you guys just adjust this here we go let's check it out See, there you go. Not bad at all. Yeah. So this has been my first tutorial on Plan B Designs. Please post tutorial ideas, any suggestions for how how I should do tutorials in the future, um, whether or not you hate me, you know, things like that. Um, and I'll try to get back to you guys about it make new tutorials with the ideas you're giving me because I really want to make what the community wants so you guys gotta tell me what you want so I can make it and don't ask me to do the dominator domination intro thing because I have no fucking idea none so I'll see you guys later